Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the CC4 3D avatar, the character creator for avatar into Unreal Engine 5 without any plugins, without the icon Unreal Life link, without the CC auto setup. How to make it easy without plugins. I'm going to show you really in details about that. And it is really easy, it is not complicated, just a few motions, just a few steps only. Now you can see this CC4 camera already in my Unreal Engine 5.4 and all of the morph already set up properly. For example, the left smile, this is a facial morph and all of the facial morph in CC4 already imported. At the same time, look at the skeletons already complete. Then, at the same time, just look at the material setup already complete. I make all of this without involving any plugins, no icon and real life link plugins, no CC auto setup plugins, and it will be faster than using the plugin. Just believe me, watch this tutorial until the end. You will find that my tutorials is easier than using the plugins. So without the plugin, it will use less. You it will use less steps. It is easier. All right. If you not yet get the CC4, the character creator for an icons, you can just go to my website, freedom3d.net, to get the icon CC4 and all the related plugins. If you love the icon and Unreal Engine tutorial, you can just go to my website, freedom3d.art to just check it out. I already updated my website full of tutorials in my in my previous tutorials, all are there, already categorized systematically. If you like the 3D models, the 3D scans, realistic 3D models, you can download it from freedom3d.org. This I have three websites, you can just visit it, three websites. Or start it with freedom3d.art.org or .net, all right. So you can, if you really love the 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing tutorials, you can just subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on all the notification mini bell so that when next time I publish a tutorials, you will receive a notification immediately. So let us start everything, start from beginning. I'm going to show you the full steps. Let's go. All right, first I'm going to start from character creator for, from CC4. And as demo, I'm going to just load a random CC4 avatar. I like to use the CC4 Camilla as demo. Now it is loading and just wait for a few seconds. Once it already loaded, CC4 is a character maker software. Once you're already done your editing, once you're already satisfied, then you can export. You can export this as FBX file for Unreal Engine. And next, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step to export. All right, look, this is the export option that you must follow. First, the target two presets, you have to choose Unreal Engines. Then, the FBX, select Mesh and Motions. Then, here, choose Embedded Texture. Even if you don't have any motions, you have to choose Mesh and Motions. Just because of you... You choose the mesh only, then it will have some problems on the skeletons. So here, choose mesh emotions, embed the texture. And the install LOD, here you have to click merge materials so that all of the material texture will merge to become one, one single texture, one single image. It will be easier for you to set up in Unreal Engines and I'm going to show you to, how to set it up in Unreal Engines later. Then, the epic skeleton exists both, you have to untick it, deselect it. Alright, now, I'm going to export it, click File, Export, FBX, Cloth Corrector. Then, the target tool preset, as I had mentioned, you choose Unreal first, then turn, turn the options. Next, Mesh and Motions must select, then embed the texture. Take Insta LOD, choose Merge Material. At this part, here, and take Epic Skeleton. All right. Next, click Export, click OK. And as demo, I'm going to export it on my desktop. And I will just name this as Camilla. 
Just wait for a while, now it is exporting and after a few seconds it will be on my desktop. Now done, everything ready on my desktop here. Then, then I am going to open the Unreal Engine 5.4. And as demo, I'm going to create a fresh new game project, a third person project, so that I can see. Then here's the project name, my project tree. Now the Unreal Editor is creating a fresh new Unreal Engine project. Now once it finished loaded, then we are going to import the FBX. Alright. So first you have to make sure you go to the window, content browser, just make sure you call out the content browser one and drag and drop to the bottom. Then click the contents. We are going to import here. First create a new folder, name this as Camilla. Right, double click it. Next, drag the FBX file into this folder. Drag and drop, it is going to pop out a prompt, FBX import options. And we have to we have to wait for a few seconds. Now once it already pop out, the scheduler mesh is compulsory to select it. Then the import animation you can skip, open the advanced. Import the morph targets. This is for all of the facial expression morph targets and the vice scene, lip scene. Then click import all. Now it is importing the FBX. It is just take a few seconds. It will be ready. Now once it finish imported, it will show you a message log. Just need to close it. Now you can see it is already imported. First look at the skeleton mesh just double click it and have a check now you can see without the auto setup all of the material texture is not set properly but it is just really easy the material is here just double click it then then you can see this is the opacity map rearrange it this is the base color opacity map but the first step you need to click the empty area it will appear the blend mode change it to mask then drag the opacity map to opacity mask after that the two sides you have to select the two sides then take off the normal map hold the control move your mouse cursor here then you can just take it off click done once you're done save it and wait for a few seconds it is saving now back to the skeleton mesh you can see all of the material texture already set properly everything already done Next, we are going to look at the skeletons. Just go to the character, bones, to show all the hierarchy. You can see the skeletons also already set up. And now, if you want to hide the skeleton, just go back to the bone and choose the selected. Everything already done. Next, just double check the facial morph and the lip sync morph all are here. We take some random, let's say smile left, left smile. You drag it to once. You can see all of these are the facial, the facial morph. You can check it. Let's say the eye white. The eye blink left. So you have all of the more facial expressions. At the same time, of the material texture already set up properly. This is how are we going to set up the the CC4 avatar, the character creator for avatar without the 
Icron Unreal Live Link and CC Auto Setup. Actually, you no need that. You can direct import it into Unreal Engine. And now this 3D avatar is ready for game. You can you can just make any of the IK re, IK retargeter for this 3D avatar. Just need to save it. Now it is at here. You have a complete skeleton. You have the skeleton mesh. You have a game ready material texture. Everything are game ready. Now it is ready for Unreal Engine. All right. That's all for today about my tutorials on how to import the character creator for 3D avatar into Unreal Engine 5.4 without the Icon Unreal Life link and without CC Auto Setup plugins. You don't need any plugins. You can make it simple and it is game ready. All right. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!